So we'll now start with the review on exotic options. As the name suggests, these options have certain differentiated features and payoff provide and payoff profiles as we'll see. So the first exotic option that we'll study is called a binary option. So in a binary option, the payoff is either zero or one. So in a binary call option, if the stock price ends up above the strike price, there is a payoff. That payoff is a fixed payoff. It is not dependent on the spot minus the strike or it's not dependent on S minus K. So to the extent the spot is greater than the strike will be the payoff on this. So if the spot is greater than the strike, then the option is in the money and there will be a fixed payoff. For example, if $100 is the strike price and the spot price ends up anywhere above this, then there will be a fixed payoff regardless of how much above 100 the spot ends. If the spot is below 100, then there will be no payoff. This is a binary option. So you don't need to remember the pricing of a binary option, but the premium of a binary option can be calculated as the present value of this fixed payoff into ND2. ND2, please remember, is the risk neutral probability of exercise of an option. So in this kind of an option, there is a payoff of Q at maturity. And the probability of that payoff is Q into ND2. That is the probability of exercise. So the present value would be QND2 e raised to power minus RT or that is the value of a binary call option. The second type of options that we'll study are called barrier options. So in a down and out call option, the barrier is below the current strike price. That is why it's called a down. The barrier is below the current spot price. That is why it is called a down and out implying that if the barrier is hit, then the call option expires or the call option extinguishes. So as the spot price hits a barrier on the downside and if it hits this barrier, then the option extinguishes. That's a down and in call. If the barrier is not hit, then the payoff at maturity would be given by S minus K, which is the payoff for any call option. <coughs> in a down and in call, the call option comes into existence if the spot price hits a barrier on the downside. So in a down and out call, the call option went out of existence if the barrier on the downside was hit. In a down and in call, the option comes into existence if a barrier on the downside is hit. So if this barrier is hit, then the option comes into existence and the payoff at maturity would be S minus K, that is for a call option. If the barrier is not hit, however, the call option never comes in or the call option never even comes into existence. Similarly, in an up and out call, it's called up because the barrier is above the current spot price. So as the spot price hits a barrier on the up, the option goes out or the up option extinguishes. In an up and in call, as the spot price hits a barrier on the up, the option comes into existence the payoff at maturity would be S minus K again. However, if the barrier has been hit, then this call will not exist anymore and this payoff will not exist. For an up and in call, the barrier must have been hit. If the barrier is not hit, then the call option never comes in the money and there is no payoff at maturity. So these are barrier options. That is on hitting a particular barrier, the option may go out or the option may come into existence. 
in an out option the option goes out of existence if the barrier is hit in an in option the option comes into existence if the barrier is hit the reason why people enter these structures or the pe or the reason why people buy these options is because as compared to a regular call which has a straight up payoff of s minus k all of these structures will have a relatively lower premium the reason is that the payoff is not a straight up s minus k the payoff is s minus k but that is also contingent on many factors so in an up and out call if the spot hits the barrier on the up then the call will go out of existence in a down and in call the spot must first go down and then go up for you to get any payoff because first the barrier must be hit otherwise there will be no payoff so barrier options will have lower premiums as compared to straight up call or put options with similar features and hence people may sometimes invest in these structures so as to reduce the cost of buying the option in an asian option or an asian call option the payoff depends on the average stock price over the period so it is not the spot price at maturity minus the stock price it is the average stock price over the period minus the strike price that will decide your payoff so if the average has been higher than the strike then you will have some payoff if the average stock price over the period has been lower than the strike price then you will have no payoff so asian options look at the entire time period and take an average of the stock price to compute the payoff look back options or a look back call option will have the payoff depending on the highest stock price over the period or until maturity and then decide the payoff so in a look back option we will see the maximum price that the stock price ever attained in the period since we purchased the option to the maturity of the option and that maximum stock price will be used to compute the payoff at maturity so a look back option will have a higher premium than a simple call option because here we look back at the entire period until maturity and see the maximum stock price which is used to calculate our payoff in a similar manner that is s minus k however this s will not be the current spot price it will be the highest spot price in the holding period of the option so let's do some questions and understand the concept so which of the following options is strongly path dependent that is the path that the stock price actually takes until maturity has a bearing on the payoff a binary option an american option a european call option or an asian option so definitely an asian option is heavily path dependent because it takes the average of the stock price in computing the payoff so an asian call option will have a payoff equal to the average stock price minus the strike price and an asian put option will have a payoff equal to the strike price minus the average stock price in a binary option the payoff is either 0 or 1 depending on whether the final spot price is higher than the strike price or not in case of a call option so here only the ending value matters similarly in a regular american or a european call option it is the current stock price that matters so the payoff in both these cases is s minus k how this s has come or what path the stock has taken to come to this s doesn't matter and the first question answer is a which of the following option strategies can give the buyer an unlimited profit an american digital option 
So a digital option is the same as a binary option. So in such a case, the payoff will be fixed to whatever is the fixed amount Q that will get paid if the option is in the money. So definitely the payoff cannot be infinite. An European look back call option. Yes, in a look back call option, definitely what we will take is the maximum price over the holding period. So the maximum price in the holding period can be any number. And hence, there is a possibility of getting an unlimited profit in this scenario. Please note that a butterfly spread or for that matter, any spread strategy is a low risk strategy. So in a butterfly spread, please recall from FRM part one, the payoff is something like this. So the downside is also capped and the upside is also capped. That's true for all spread strategies because you buy some options and you sell some options. So upside is also capped and downside is also capped. So a spread strategy can never give us unlimited profit. Similarly, an up and out barrier option cannot give us infinite profit because as the option hits a barrier on the upside, the option will go out of existence. So even the strategy is out. The answer, the answer is B, a European look back call option. Of the following options, which one does not benefit from an increase in the stock price when the current stock price is $100 and the barrier has not yet been crossed? So please note, the question asks, does not benefit. So a down and out call without barrier at $90 and a strike price at $110. So if the stock price is currently $100 and the stock price goes up, then that's a good thing or this option will benefit because there is no risk of hitting the out barrier and stock price going up means the option will come more in the money or will become closer to being in the money. So the first definitely benefits. A down and in call with a barrier at 90 and a strike at 110. So please note, in a down and in call, first the barrier must be hit for the option to come in the money. So first the stock price should go down and then it should go up so as to get a payoff. So right now when the barrier has not been hit and from $100 itself if the stock starts going up then does the option even come into existence or will we gain anything at all? So first the stock has to go down and hit the $90 barrier and after that it has to go up. So right now in a down and in call we need the stock to go down. So we don't benefit from an increase. We need a decrease and then an increase. So this option does not benefit from an increase. An up and in put with a barrier at 110 and a strike at 100 will benefit because from $100 we need to first go to 110 for the put to come into existence and then the stock should go down so that we get a payoff equal to K minus S. So an up and in put will also benefit because the put will come into existence. And similarly with an up and in call, as the stock goes up and hits the barrier on the up, the call will come into existence and then we may gain. So a down and in call option does not benefit at the moment when the barrier has not been hit. So that was a review on exotic options and the payoff on exotic options. Make sure you practice many more questions of these types. Barrier options are especially important 
and many questions can be formed out of them. So make sure you practice a lot of these questions.